Well, have a blown fuse in our uh, microwave on our Montana. It's a 3121 RL, 2019, 20th anniversary edition. And it blew out uh, on our last trip. And I replaced it once, but I didn't have the right one. It blew out again. This is a, a high point. I'll put a, link, a, thing, a picture in here with the model number. Okay, what you need is a screwdriver and a Phillips. I just use this combo, 11 and one, works great. And first we have to take this off. That's the hardest part. Take this off. There are two screws, they're Phillips head short. up here on top one there and one there you got to take those out then you got to kind of work this out without breaking it the fuse is actually right inside this but to do that we have to take this off Phillips head screw here. Then you, once the screw's out, you lift up on the control panel. And you can just sort of gently hang it down there like so. Maybe a little easier if you open that up out of the way. Then there are two Phillips screws here and here. And then this comes off like so this is the bottom of it like that and right here is the fuse you obviously want to make sure that you have all of the power off and then you can just pop this fuse up and you can see it's blown. So what I'm going to do is I have these microwave fuses. I actually got them on Amazon. And they are 20 amp, I believe it is, slow blow. I'm going to put that up here. Pop it into place. And that's pretty much it. We put it back together. 
Now, I'm at our storage facility, so I can't really uh, test this out unless I fire up my generator that's out in the back of my truck and I'm not gonna do it. I already know that it's the fuse that'll work after I replace the fuse because I've done it once. And then there we go. And we put this back up. There's little slots back here. Right there, 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 there. And little catches here. So you line that up. You get this big one down here up. Slide it down in position and we take the little screw put that in I'm six foot two but it still helps for me to use this little step stool. Let me just push this back into position. Kind of snaps in. And that's it. It's done. The fuse is replaced. The main reason I did this video was primarily just to show you where it was, give you a rough idea how to take it apart. Again, your model might be different, but this is for a high point. It's H-I-G-H-P-O-I-N-T-E, -H high point microwave. It's a convection and microwave. So hopefully this will uh, be a little assist to you. Apologize the video quality. I don't usually do videos like this, but I couldn't find one on YouTube. So I decided I'd just make a quick one and uh, hopefully it'll be helpful. So have a great day and good luck.